Hi right guys, welcome back to a brand new video on the channel. We're going to be previewing tomorrow afternoon's fixture between West Bromwich Albion and Millwall in the Championship. But before we crack on with the preview video, if I could ask if you're not subscribed to the channel, so please subscribe. We're trying to hit 800 subscribers as our next milestone. I need every one of you guys to hit the subscribe button so we can get there as soon as possible. Thanks for that. Let's get into the preview. So we're going to take a look at the form of both sides and we come into this game on the back of a four win streak in the championship. They included that last minute winner against Peter Bridges before the international break. Millwall also picked up their first win of the campaign over Blackpool before the international break. So both sides should be full of confidence and it could prove to be an intriguing title at the Hawthorns. We're going to now move on to the team news and we're going to start with West Brom and we've got a few absentees in the squad. One of them being Dara O'Shea, he's ruled out for four to six months with a fractured ankle. We wish him all the best with his recovery. Matt Clark is also out with a continued hamstring problem, but Valeri Nishma has confirmed in his press conference that he thinks Clark will return sooner than expected, so that's great news. New signing Kian Bryan won't feature against Millwall after just joining up with the squad, but he has a chance to feature against Derby to make his debut. Callum Robinson is also back for the baggies after his battle with COVID, and he got minutes under his belt for international duty with the Republic of Ireland. We're going to move on to the Millwall team news, and Mason Bennett and Ryan Leonard are expected to be on the bench for Millwall as they return to train this week from their injuries. Sean Hutchinson and Danny McNamara remain out though for Millwall. Shea Ojo could be in the squad after arriving from Liverpool on loan. So for the players to watch out for, for Millwall, I'm going to go with Jed Wallace. Three goals and an assist in his opening five championship games. And he proves year after year why he's quality at that level. And he's surely the player that Albion are going to have to watch out for the most. Meanwhile, for the baggies, I think Jordan Hugo could be the man to watch. He could be added for his first start of the season to prove a bit more of a physical battle for the Millwall defence. And he'd be searching for his first goal in blue and white as well. So those are the two players I think you should watch out for in this game. So now we're going to move on to the West Brom team prediction and the score prediction. So for the Albion lineup, I'm going to go Sam Johnson in goal. A back three of Shemi Ajayi, Carl Bartley and Cedric Kipre with the full backs being Connor Townsend and Darnell Furlong. I'm going to go Jake Livermore and Alex Mowat in central midfield with Carlin Grant on the left wing, Callum Robinson on the right and Jordan Hugo leading the line. Meanwhile, for the score prediction, I'm going to go 3-1 to the Baggies. I'm going to go Jed Wallace to get on the score sheet for Millwall and then goals for the Albion from Callum Robinson and Jordan Hugo. So guys, if you enjoyed the preview video, make sure to smash a like on it. Comment down below what you think is going to happen in the game against Millwall. And as I said at the beginning of the video, subscribe if you're new as we're trying to hit 800 subscribers as soon as possible. And I'll see you guys for the vlog tomorrow.